Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit about the Delirium Essence Glove Crafting, which is primarily where we're going to be using our Righteous Fire. Now this does not apply to Righteous Fire Totems, even though I'm on my Totem character, he's just leveling. Uh, and I did initially want to get a much larger sample size, but since I kind of ripped and lost about two mirrors worth of currency um, on that death, I don't have nearly as much as I used to, and it'll be fun building up the currency again. So for this project, we essentially need two things. We need an Essence of Delirium, and to acquire an Essence of Delirium, uh, you would have to use an Essence or a Remnant of Corruption on the Essences before you activate them on the following. Uh, scorn, Envy, Misery, Dread, and when you do that, they have a chance of becoming one of the four here, which would be Insanity, Blank, Delirium, Blank. I don't remember exactly the other two. Delirium, again, the reason why we are using this is because socketed gems in your gloves would deal 30% more damage over time, which is essentially a multiplier. It's kind of like a pseudo-5 link. Now, if you look at helmet crafts, there is a... I don't remember exactly which one it is. Uh, there's a helmet craft for one of these that does exactly what Delirium does, except it's, it's elemental damage. The reason why we don't use that is because it's a lot harder to roll a helmet than it is to roll gloves. Because your helmet could potentially be, what, like almost 500 energy shield with a T1 intel suffix? Whereas your gloves are probably not going to roll past like 240, so in my opinion it's just a lot easier to craft with. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to take out my two essences of Delirium. Now, the other important thing to do on this is to make sure that you're using Sorcerer Gloves, which I believe have the highest, uh, the highest base rolls, like for Energy Shield. And it's important to make sure that the item level is at least item level 84. Now these literally only cost a couple chaos, they're not very expensive, and the reason for this is it just allows us to roll the highest tier. The only way we can technically brick our gloves, and bricking would just mean makes them unusable, is if we rolled added flat fire damage to attacks. Because that would mean that when we shield charge, um, you know, for mobility and whatnot to keep up our fortify, that would actually apply elemental equilibrium, which is located here, even if it just does one damage, which boosts the target's fire resistance by 25%. And that's really counterproductive to what we're trying to do with elemental equilibrium. So, here we go, by RNG Jesus. I'm just gonna slam one, and it rolled 99. That is honestly probably the worst roll of anything I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, it rolled like the shittiest ES with like the shittiest flat with a T1 mana. Not really T1 at all, actually, with just a mana roll. Um, so that's probably like the worst pair of gloves I've ever seen. I can't believe I just spent 40 chaos on them. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try again on our next pair of gloves. I'll tell you what, maybe for some R and Jesus's blessing, let's let's go ahead and. Four link it. All right, didn't four link. Boom. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm pretty sure that I just found gloves that are worse than the ones I literally just rolled. Uh, the only difference is that these at least give one to two cold damage to attacks, uh, which means that it technically applies our elemental equilibrium for us. On the bright side, these can still craft percentage energy shield, so they will be a tiny bit over 100, maybe like 111. There you go, 109, that's actually kind of a shit craft. Um, at least it is something on the gloves. Overall, not too impressed with our glove crafting, uh, but there you guys go, a simple way on using Delirium Essences. Now, if you don't want to go ahead and do this method because for some reason you just don't feel comfortable crafting for yourself, which I totally understand, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up, let's see if I can do this. Alright, does this work if I pull this up? Yes, okay, so another way to do this, if you really want to, is instead, you could search Socketed Gems deal more damage over time. Now, what you're doing here on the poe.trade, which is basically our online auction house, is you're searching to try to find gloves with more damage over time. And the only way to find gloves with more damage over time is essentially if someone has already used a Delirium Essence to craft those gloves. So here you can find them for about as cheap as Delirium Essences. 
Um, Delirium Essences run from about 40 to 50 Chaos. The gloves here you can see are about 35 to 40. They're always, they always have to be a little bit cheaper because it's, it's kind of fucked if you could make a profit off of that, but that's what we're going to try to do, Kappa. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. I just wanted to keep you guys a little bit updated with how to craft your Delirium Essence gloves that you will pretty much be using all the way up to level 100 if you choose to level that far. Um, when you're doing bossing as well, all bosses, like including Shaper, Uber, Ziri, uh, Guardians, which are like, you know, Minotaur, Hydra, Phoenix, uh, I forgot what the last one is called, Chimera. All of these will be done with this four link in your gloves. Anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.